All right, second day of PA rifle season here. We're on our way to go do some deer drives with a bunch of guys. It's always a fun time, and uh, I know we have a lot of tags to fill, so hopefully there's a lot of shooting, and uh, there's a coating of about an inch of snow on the ground, so it should be pretty awesome watching the deer coming in with the snow. You'll be able to see them from a ways away, so I guess we'll hopefully turn you on when deer start running. We're going in for our second drive right now. We didn't see anything uh, in the first drive, so pushing another big brush pile. So hopefully the second drive has some deer in it. There, come to the road. Come out, come out, Brandon. Are you ready? See it? It's gonna come out. It's gonna cross. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. It's going across. It's probably not gonna stop. Oh, I'll cut back. guys uh, Matt and I we just started went to start a drive and uh, we looked and the, the people who were sitting pushed deer down off the hill I wasn't gonna carry this gun because it's really old it's my great 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 uncle's gun so I wasn't gonna carry it through the woods or anything so I was just gonna leave it back here where we started to drive and heck we just got we just got to start pushing and there was a bunch of them that came down off the hill so I was like ran back got the gun and they came probably 50 yards or so I just shot I think I'm pretty sure I know I hit it I just don't know I, I didn't see it make it up over the hill so nonetheless those deer are still in here and we're about to push it out to them so hopefully that uh, more people get shooting there's probably five or six of them in that group so. I don't know if you want to shoot it. I don't think you hit him the first two. I couldn't tell the last shot. Yeah, you can see where he went. Yeah, no blood. Well guys, this second drive was definitely action packed. I know a couple of people shot buck, they even shot a doe, and then Brandon and I had a bear come. And a lot of the a lot of the other people here using open sights, but we of course had a scope 
and we are in one of the brushy spots and this bear comes out and you can see in the video we shot right over it right behind it and we just looked for blood for a while and there's nothing so that was definitely a crazy drive holy man I don't even know what to say right now. Some there, that looks like a moose. Why? It's real tall. Oh yeah, that was a fall. Look at how these guys. See the lungs. Guess we'll get her tagged up and yeah. gutted, and then move on to the next drive. Yeah, next drive. All right, so Isaac and I were set up for third drive of the day, and uh, we got all the other deer cleaned up and tagged them and everything. So. We're gonna do a few more drives, but we looked longer for that bear and uh, nothing, so kind of stinks, but we'll keep after it and uh, hopefully Isaac and I can get lucky and a big doe or even a buck will come, come running by us. seeing one deer come off the hill out in front of us. It was just too brushy for a shot, so I think we got one more drive lined up uh, for the rest of the day. We're gonna get on out of here and go get set up and hopefully we have one come by. off. It's still standing there. It doesn't know what to do. <laughs> All its points are like broken off. He's not... Well, we just finished our last deer drive. Sure had a fun time. Ended up getting a few deer. One nice buck. And we also had some missing too. Brandon uh, missed that bear. It was really close with the scope running. So not an easy shot to take, obviously. And uh, then just now, Matt also missed, but he was using an old uh, Henry. I'm not even quite sure what it's called. An old model Henry lever action. So open sights, but he wanted to bring it out just to, just to you know, take a shot at the deer and maybe get lucky. But it was a fun day nonetheless. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed. A lot of you guys enjoy the deer drive. So. We'll probably be maybe doing a couple more in the future, but thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.